YouTube, what's going on? It's Ray from Philly here on Sunday, July 21st. It's like Christmas morning for us collectors today. Today is the uh, 2019 National Baseball Hall of Fame induction ceremony. It's going to be starting at uh, 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Get ready to watch that. Uh, later on tonight, I'm going to do a recap video of the Hall of Fame induction and uh, show some of the cards of the guys that got in today. So enjoy that. But first, I'm going to just go over a couple things. Little um, autograph signing that I met yesterday at my local card shop in Havertown, Pennsylvania. Uh, two former Phillies were there yesterday, Greg the Bull Luzinski and Willie Montanez. He used to be, I used to say Montanez, but he wanted to be called years ago Monten Montanez. Pretty good player. Um, some of you might remember who he was, some Phillies fans. Uh, I remember him uh, growing up in the 70s uh, of watching Montanez. Uh, play. He was uh, kind of a hot dog player. He used to snap his glove when he used to catch pop-ups or he used to play first base and just snap the glove. He was very flamboyant. Uh, one of the first hot dog players that came out at that time. Jumped around for a lot of teams, started with the Phillies, went to San Francisco, Atlanta. I do remember him, seeing him play a lot with the New York Mets and for a couple of years because I used to have that channel where I grew up. So I used to catch the Yankees and Mets games. So I used to see Montanez play for the Mets. And then he really bounced around in the 80s. Came back to the Phillies in his last year in 82. So it was nice to see him come back for a last hurrah. But nice guy. Uh, I'm going to show you what I picked up from him yesterday that he signed. Uh, this is a 1974 Topps Johnny Pro. This is kind of a, uh, a card. It's a real big card. It kind of pops out. Kind of like the um, 64 Topps stand-ups. That's what this is like. This came out in 74. And as you see, there's uh, Willie Montanez. He signed it in blue Sharpie yesterday. I'm not going to pop it out. I, I'm keeping it in this top loader. And, um, you know, just enjoy it like that. I mean, there's nothing in the back. There's no stats. But there was, this was something cool I thought to get. And uh, so then I'm going to show you another little cool pickup I got from my LCS that I'm going to flip the phone around and show you this. Uh, if you guys remember Baseball Digest, it's a small magazine that I used to get a subscription starting in 79, and I had the subscription probably till about 85. And uh, I would love to get all those Baseball Digest magazines back and start collecting them. Not a real expensive thing to collect. They're pretty cheap. But uh, my LCS, and I didn't realize how far back Baseball Digest went. This is from March 1957. Check this out. I thought this was awesome. There's the front. You know, has Tom Flanagan of the White Sox, Woody Held of the Yankees, Larry Raines, Cleveland, Casey Wise. And here's the back right over here. So I'm going to flip the phone around, give you guys a little closer look at this Baseball Digest magazine, go over some of the stats of Willie Montanez. Uh, I already met Luzinski before, so I didn't get anything signed by the Bull. Uh, but I got a picture, so at the end of this video, I'm going to show a little video clip of uh, Montanez walking in the store yesterday. It's nothing major, nothing big. It's like a 10-second video clip, shook hands with him, and then some pictures of me and Montanez and Luzinski. So first, I'll flip the phone around, give you a closer look at this, show you some of Montanez and Luzinski stats. Enjoy the Hall of Fame today. Tim, uh, Tim Reigns, Larry, Harold Baines is getting in today, Roy Halladay, Mike Mussina, Mariana Rivera, Edgar Martinez, Lee Smith, awesome class. I'll be back on tonight with a recap. Enjoy the Hall of Fame today. But first, show you guys this and Montanez's stats, and then a little 10, 20 second video of, of uh, meeting Montanez. So hold on. All right, so real quick, here's Montanez's stats right here. He had 1,604 career hits, 139 home runs, 275 batting average. He did make the All-Star team one time. Um, and like I said, he started his career with the Phillies in 1970. And in 71, hit 30 homers. I started seeing him, I think it was probably around 75 when I saw Montanez play. Then as you can see, he bounced around to San Francisco, Atlanta, the Mets, Texas, San Diego, Montreal. Pittsburgh. He did bounce around a lot, but he was a pretty flamboyant character nonetheless. Uh, let's move on to Luzinski. Now, Luzinski was a fantastic player. Uh, he was a four-time All-Star. 
He only played his career with two teams, 1980 World Series champion, as you can see here by my uh, Phillies you know, poster here that I got signed. Where's Greg? There's Greg right up there. So I have tons of Lazinski stuff uh, as it is, but Lazinski played his career from 1970, same year Montanez came up, uh, to 84, and he played with the Phillies and the White Sox. And he had 1,795 career hits, 307 career homers, 1128 RBIs. He was a masher, one of the original, like, moonshot players. King close to winning MVP a couple times in 75, and again in 77. Made the All-Star team in 77, hit a homer in the All-Star game at Yankee Stadium. So I do remember that. And again, I just wanted to show you the... Uh, Autograph stand-up picture of uh, Montanez. And then just take a quick look again at this Baseball Digest, which I thought was really cool. They're doing a report in this here, the 1957 Rookie Preview. Uh, and they're going by each team's scouting report. And uh, I went to the Baltimore Orioles that year, and the big rookie for the Orioles on the report that year is none other than Mr. Where is he? Brooks Robinson. So we're giving a little report. Outstanding major league prospect. Can't miss. Good hands and arm. Choke hitter straight away. Don't fan, doesn't fan much. So that's the report on Brooks Robinson. So these are just really cool in here. Uh, it's just a lot of little articles. And this was made, made mainly a... Uh, rookie report and it's just cool to see some of the ads in here and it's just I used to love this magazine and I would love to get a lot of these back Feller did get smart perfect game I mean it's just a lot of cool things in here uh, I highly recommend if you want to collect magazines these are really fun to collect so there you have it. I just wanted to show you a little thing of Montanez autograph, Lazinski meeting, uh, Baseball Digest. I'm going to start getting more. My uh, LCS has more from the 50s and early 60s, which would be cool. And enjoy the Hall of Fame today. And uh, before I go out, here's just a little video clip of me meeting Montanez walking in the store. See you guys later on tonight after the Hall of Fame. Keep on collecting and love the hobby. All right, this is Ray from Philly. I'm at Carl's Cards on Saturday, July 20th, and I'm here to meet... Willie Martinez, and he's in the parking lot now, and here he is. How you doing, Mr. Hey, Martinez? You doing? Nice to meet you. Continue. Nice to meet you. Also, who's here is Greg Luzinski, the Bull. Be right back. <laughs>